Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. So this is your DLD lab, digital logic design lab. And here are the workstations. You can see them over here. So we'll have 12 working stations that you can see in front of you. I'm currently in your digital logic design lab. So we'll continue with explaining one of the trainers over here and what do we do with them. So I'll just give you a basic tutorial of the trainer and then we'll continue with one of the experiment. So basically in front of you is the trainer where we have placed a breadboard and on this breadboard we have placed different ICs. You can see the ICs have been numbered 7400, 7400, 7402, 7404, 7408, 7408, 7432 and 7486. First of all you have to verify that whether all of these ICs which have been placed on this breadboard are exactly the same which have been mentioned on this tagline or not. So that's quite a good possibility, good chance of this to be 7406 but the tagline to be 7400. So you have to first of all verify that whether the IC that has been placed over here is exactly the same that has been mentioned over here. So how would you verify that is by simply looking at this IC closer with your phone with the magnifier available already in the lab and you can check that whether the IC is the same or not. I'll just zoom it out over, over here to make you see that whether it is the same IC or not. So you can see that the IC over here, if my camera can show you, is uh, if it's visible, it, it is 7400. You can see, so this S00 shows that this IC is 7400. So this IC has been confirmed. Similarly, I have confirmed this IC to be 7408. So now the next thing that you need to know about this trainer is that we have a set of inputs over here. We have ground over here. We have 5 volts DC supply over here and we have 12 volts DC supply over here. The ICs that we are using are of 7400 range and they are TTL ICs which are for 5 volts VCC. So you cannot go beyond 5 volts for this VCC voltage for these ICs. So what we'll have over here is that we'll uh, uh, assemble the circuit on this breadboard using this 5 volt supply and this ground voltage uh, ground supply. Where we are going to check the inputs and the outputs is this panel. You can see it over here. So in this panel you can see that for all of these uh, uh, breadboard small packets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbering has been given already. So the left uh, holes are for the inputs that are being controlled by these switches. So I'll just show you something that if I uh, put this this wire into the left hole of this four input and I'll just check by placing this wire into the right hole of this three input. So what I've done is that I have put the connected the wire into the input switch of this 4 and the right wire it is the output hole that is being indicated by this LED. So the, if the control switch is in this 4 so I'll just turn it on and you can see that the LED for third, uh, third panel has brightened up so when I'll turn this off the LED for this third panel has turned off. So this you can see this panel over here the right panel over here is for the outputs that is being showed on this uh, LED while the left panel is for the inputs that is being controlled by this switch. You can just turn it on over here and turn it off over here. So first of all the very first thing that you will do uh, when you will come to this trainer is that you will check that all of your switches and all of your LEDs are right or not. So how you check that uh, you can see that I am placing this wire over here into the 5 volt supply. You can see it over here that I have placed it in, I have connected it in and now I will check each of the outputs. So you can see first of all I am checking this MSB, it brightens up, it's ok. So now the 6th one, it brightens up, it's ok. Now the 5th one, the 4th one, 
uh, okay so the fourth one isn't lighting up so there must be an issue so the third one the second one the first one and this LSB all are lighting up except the four one so there must be an issue with the four one now I know that I do not need to check my outputs on the fourth LED so I have checked the outputs now I can check the inputs by checking all of these switches how would I do that I would connect this to this output over here into the one so I'll just keep checking by I'll put this over here it shows that the switch is on and it's off so the one indicates that yes it's okay now I'll connect it in the third input I'll just I'll just turn it on okay it brightens up turn it off and so this means that it is also okay so we'll just check all the switches through this manner and uh, hence we will uh, when we'll complete the checking process of these switches and this VCC supply then we'll move towards constructing the circuit uh, patching the circuit I'll just show you an example of uh, 7408 IC where we are uh, implementing AND gate and you can see over here that this IC I have verified over here to be 7408 I have connected the VCC and the ground so one thing you need to remember is that always connect the VCC in this upper panel and the ground in this lower panel so what I've done is that you can see that this VCC pin of this which is the 14th pin has been connected to the upper panel and this upper panel has been connected to the plus 5 volt DC over here so I'll not mix the grounds and the VCC so I've just keep them separated the VCC is over here the grounds are over here you can see the ground pin over here for this IC is 7 I'll provide you the data sheets as well but you have to remember that if the IC is a different one than the 7408 IC the data sheet would be different and the VCC voltages the VCC pins the inputs and outputs would be different so we have 7 number ground over here and you can see that I have connected this pin on 7 number ground over here and this ground has been connected in the lowest panel which has been further connected to the ground over here in this uh, trainer so now we are ready to check our circuit what I have done is that we have connected the inputs in this MSB and 6 um, panel of this our input and I will just turn them off these are the inputs and the output which you can see over here for this first gate is at the third pin and you can see that I have connected this white wire on the third pin of this IC and I have connected it to the right panel of LSB which indicates that I am checking it on this LED so now we will verify the truth table for AND gate you can see the AND gate it turns on only when both of the inputs are on so I'll just turn one of the input on you can see that there is no different I'll turn it off and turn one of the input again on you can see that there is no difference so and now what I'll do is that I'll turn both of them on and you can see the output you can see the output it turns green so this means that our system is working perfectly so this circuitry this circuit for the AND gate has been completed over here this is a basic tutorial where we have completed the patching the checking of the circuit you have to remember that this initial checking of your trainer is very important you would be assigned one of the trainers only and that trainer would remain with you throughout the labs so you should know what is the error with your uh, circuit is it all right it's all okay or what's the error with your ICs you should uh, first have a good look over the ICs that whether the IC you are using is actually the same which has been mentioned on this tagline or not so I'll expect that you will follow all of these instructions and the, uh, and the circuit patching techniques and all of these uh, connections that have been given in the manual and uh, I'll expect an individual lab report from each of you so take good care of yourselves uh, please listen to these lectures before coming to the lab and uh, inshallah if there would be any confusion I'll be there for you thank you Allah Hafiz